Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can write some code and execute them in Jupyter Notebook. I have my Jupyter Notebook already open. So click on this new here and create a new file. You'll not see these many options here. You will just probably see this Python 3 API kernel. Click on this and your new notebook will be opened. Now our notebook is open, so straight away let's write some Python code and lay and say print hello world. Now, if you are wondering how I have this dark theme here, check the link in the description below. It will show you how you can add dark theme into your notebook. Now, to execute this, you can just type Control Enter, and as you can see, hello world is printed, and no new cell is created. Now, to create a new cell, you can just click on Insert here and click insert cell below and new cell will be created here let's say a equals to 10 plus 20 and you can press alt enter to go to the new cell so last time we had pressed control enter and we just remain on the new cell now we pressed control alt enter and we executed the cell and created a new cell below it okay and now let's say here we'll print a and now if I press shift enter as you can see 30 is printed and it has gone to the cell below it so the difference between alt enter and shift enter is alt enter creates a new cell and shift enter just goes to the cell below current one and control enter just executes it and does nothing so there are three ways you can execute it that is just execute in place that is it, it is executed and not gone below it or press alt enter that means this cell is executed and a new cell is added below it and shift enter so this cell is executed and it has gone to the cell below it no new cell is added and now let's delete these cells to delete this uh, press escape if you are seeing this cursor press escape and type d sorry press d twice dd again you can use arrow keys to navigate between cells again here if you are not seeing the cursor if you see the cursor you are selected you can type code but you need to press escape and this cell will be highlighted and press double d again go down using arrow key and press double d again okay so now uh, let's say i want to create a new cell here and say print done and now you can just go to cell and click run all to run all the cells at once so these are the ways you can run code in Jupyter Notebook. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.